Good evening, lords and ladies. This is the fourth time that I've recorded this. The other three times, I didn't really know what I was doing exactly. So I ate dinner, I played a little bit, I tested things, yada, yada, yada. So now with this fourth or maybe fifth or sixth or tenth try, I might actually be able to show you guys what to do. Now, the way I play Magic Spire is gonna be different than you. You have to figure out, first of all, what's the max, max level floor you can get to. After you figure out what's the max level floor you can get to, you know how much uh, magic power thingy that you have to spend in the store. And, and I'll go through it rather quickly and spend mine. The way that I spend is probably gonna be different than the way that you do. So that's the first thing. The second thing is, is before you enter, make sure your maximum boost. Because whatever your maximum is, is the way that it is. After you enter and you start playing, you, you change your dragon skills, things like this, it's it not gonna change it. You're not gonna boost it up. So before you enter, you have to do it. Otherwise, you have to go back and reset everything. So we're just gonna jump into it. And in the end, I'm gonna tile somebody. This dude is strong. He already bought the chivalry gems. His power is higher than me. Uh, I, I don't think I can beat him, but I'm just gonna try and, and we'll just see if I can maybe get on a tile or something like that. So here we go. Just gonna jump into it. I'm not gonna do a lot of commentary right now. This isn't gonna be the funniest video. It's, it's basically gonna be me trying to go through this uh, and not making mistakes and explaining things uh, when I do stop and I do buy something in the store. So you see that you can buy benefits. So you've got this uh, Spire Fire thingy. I don't know what that is. It's 700 in the top left-hand corner. So you can buy your benefits. But what you wanna do is you wanna figure out where your maximum floor you can go to is. Um, and then based on that, you'll be able to calculate how much magic spire fire stuff you have. And then you can figure out uh, what to buy because you wanna buy it later on. The benefits keep increasing. So you'll see that the, the, um, the benefits, they started out at something else. And now you'll see that, you know, like, you know, troop, troop health is up 30%. And then next time it's going to be, I don't know, 40% or something. 35. So here we go. You see each level of floor, the benefits go up, but the cost goes up. So you have to figure out, you know, what, what's your budget. You have to figure out what's your budget, and then you go from there. And, um, yeah, so... I think I've got this all calculated out to be the uh, most ideal for my situation. So I'm going to be able to go to the top floor. If you can go to the top floor, you probably want to kind of do sort of what I do. Uh, you maybe, maybe not. There's a couple of things that you could change. So I'm going to go with infantry damage received reducing, and uh, we're going to we're going to try and keep those guys alive. So that's one of the first things that I do. And then I'm going to just you know get through until the 14th floor, and then I'm going to make another purchase. All right, here we go. Next one. Troop health, 70%. Give me that. Give me, give me. And then uh, troop defense. 75%. And we are going to end with troop attack here. And then on the last floor, I you have to do it on the last floor because if you don't do it on the last floor, you end up getting a, you don't get this benefit. So every floor you can buy the um, the fifty percent or the twenty percent troop reduction thingy back again. But if you don't buy it on the last floor, when you go over here to tile someone. You don't, it's not gonna show up. So you have to do that one last. So plan for that one last, plan for the other things before that. And uh, yeah, so let's see here. Where is you, my friend? Defeat, yeah. So you'll see that um, I didn't win and we'll take a closer look here. Uh, he's got, again, he's got the new Spiral Gems, and uh, he's, a, he's a pretty strong opponent. So, yeah, he had a lot surviving. Let's, let's try and figure out here what, what survived, and can we kill it? Wow. 
and they all got lost. So they survived. They killed a whole bunch. So let's see here. His T-11 infantry were all bye-bye. But his beast riders didn't didn't get taken out. So yeah, let's see here. Let's see if we can we can fix that a bit. Hmm. Curious, yeah, and his his bowman just just pummeled me. So we're gonna we're gonna try and attack this guy a couple of times, you know, moving troop configurations around and stuff like that until we get something that, that may be a little bit more balanced. And um, yeah, maybe maybe we can improve our chances of winning a bit. Because I want to win, I don't want to lose. Let's see if we can't balance things out just a tad bit more. because that would be a very good thing if we are able to balance it out and win. But again, he's already bought the new gems, so it's gonna be, we're on an uphill battle here. I'm doing this mostly for the video. Normally, I wouldn't care. I mean, like, really, you know, this tile, it's like having an extra march, basically. You know, the, the reward you get from, from Spire, it's not gonna be game-changing. Uh, I mean, if you don't have Valor Gems, you, you definitely want to, to try hard at this. But if you do, it, it's not going to make really a difference one way or the other. So, yeah. Let's, let's do that, and let's, uh, let's try. Yay, victory! So, bye-bye, die-die. But uh, I, I think he's going to be able to get revenge on me. I'm not sure. So today is a victory. But, um, you know, he's going he's gonna to come back. But this is the best strategy. And so when you do end up getting um, crystals, you'll end up getting some. You know, if you don't have Valor Gems, you definitely want to prioritize that. So the first reward is definitely for you. If you don't have Valor Gems, that's just basically number one. If you do have Valor Gems... Uh, at that point, it's basically like, what are you missing? Do you need steel for crafting? Steel is always a good thing. Uh, do you need silver? Do you need dragon essence? Do you need banners? I mean, whatever you need. So, you know, but but I would probably prioritize it as Valor Gems as being like the number one. And realize that these are just fragments. So like, you're going to need a hundred of these to actually make a gem. So you're going to have to gather basically all day long um, in order to do it. And you're going to have to sit on this tile for 10 hours. And then if he wins, and he's probably going to revenge me. If he wins, then you have a chance to revenge him. But that just means basically all the stats that you had before, they're not going to change. The only thing you can do is just change a troop configuration. So, yeah. Um, it's... It's complicated. You're just gonna have to kind of figure it out. It's really, it's gonna come down to maximum boost and crazy troop configurations. If you don't wanna mess with any of this and you just wanna just, you know, just farm a little bit and just, you know, chill, chill, just go to the level one or level two mines, just grab a spot and, you know, off you go. Because uh, the level one and level two can't be tiled. And you'll see that they, they aren't really providing a lot of these mines. I mean, for all, I think this is all kingdoms. All the kingdoms everywhere gets a total of, what is this, five, nine, and then another nine, a total of 18 mines for the maximum crystals out of like thousands and thousands and thousands of players and, and hundreds of people with, with high stats. You only get 18 with, um, you know, these, these top level mines. I didn't look at the, the lower level mines. The lower level mines are, are probably equally scarce and equally competitive maybe more mines are become available as people go to these high levels but obviously they're going to try and you know provoke conflict this is you know this is what they want to do uh don't get don't get too caught up in it though the rewards are just kind of you know whatever 
Uh, so look at the top, you know, it's, it's a gathering rate of 72K per hour. So that would effectively give me, um, let's see here, let's go down to something that's kind of universal. So that would basically give me, uh, if I traded those for silver, it'd give me 25K silver per hour. Uh, so this is kind of like having an extra two marches, you know, so, so you're basically, it's like two extra marches gathering silver, you know, per day, per hour, sort of, um, you know, I mean, it's good for getting stuff that you can't gather in other places and circumstances for the free players. But I mean, at the high end, if you're, if you're pretty powerful, you know, don't, don't get too caught up in it. If, you know, if you're not max buff, just go and just chill down at the level one and level two range. I mean, there's there's no shame in that. So, you know, just find a, just an empty tile where you fit in and just, you know, just chill and be happy there. So, um, yeah. Uh, one other quick thing. So in closing, we're just going to step out. In closing, uh, let me find my friend here. So this guy, this guy is is a bit sensitive. So poor David, I've been joking with him a lot and I call him a bitch and a coward. And you know, okay, everybody that watches my videos knows that I'm I'm joking around and I'm sarcastic. You know, it it doesn't matter what I say. This is just a fun video. Everybody's laughing. I mean, at the end of the day, what I say it doesn't really matter. The truth is Let's see here. The truth is, this is the truth. Here we go. This is the truth. He doesn't help with KVK, and that's why I'm joking with him. He doesn't ever unshield. That's why I'm joking with him. He doesn't ever say hi to me or be friendly or anything. You know, everybody in the kingdom I'm, I'm friendly with. I talk to them. I say hi. You know, I don't attack anybody. I'm just really chill. I'm just, you know, easy going. But he doesn't really want to be friends. So when I joke around a little bit, of course, he gets more upset. But anyway, I'm sorry, David. You know, I think I hurt your feelings. And hopefully one day we can be friends again. You know, we were friends before. You know, let be bygones be bygones, you know. Anyway, so here we go. Today's not the funny video. You know, we tried to cover Spyro. Uh, we try and, you know, uh, explain how things are working and stuff like that. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully it helps a little bit. Um, remember to hit subscribe and like if you like my videos. Okay, cheers. Bye-bye.